Hi, welcome everyone. I'm Katya and this is my channel where I share my career journey. Um, I'm doing multiple things at the moment. I'm an editor at uh, a few of Slovenian magazines such as Elle and Cosmopolitan. I'm also a journalist, I'm creative director, I'm a fashion mentor, entrepreneur, all those things in once. Today I want to share with you how a week, uh, a typical week in my life looks like, in my professional life. Um, so I'm going to share a little bit about um, how I organize myself and what exactly I do and how I do it. Um, because as I said, I juggle many things at once. I also made a video last week about being a jack of all trades and master of none, which is a very good description of who and who I am and what I do and how I do it. Uh, so if you're interested, um, do check that out. Um, but for today, I think let's just dive in. So first of all, welcome to my parents' house. Last week I moved out of London back to Slovenia where I'm gonna spend holidays with uh, my friends and family who I've missed very dearly. Um, this is basically my room um, where I didn't grow up here, um, but my parents bought this when I was like 18 and um, every once in a while I, uh, when I visit I, I stay here, but um, my parents just put it on booking.com, so it's kind of like almost like a hotel room. They live in Slovenian countryside that I also really missed. Tell me if you're interested about the story of why exactly I left London to come back to Slovenia. But more on that some other time. Let's focus on the topic on today's menu. So first of all, I'm the kind of person that needs to write everything down. <laughs> Hence my profession where I pretty much just write day in, day out. Um, so. At the beginning of the week, I make a little to-do list of everything that I need to do that week. Uh, on top is what I do for the publishing company where I'm the editor and journalist for a couple of different media, including Elle, Story, Cosmopolitan. Um, so this is like kind of like a priority on top because this is my day job. This is where the biggest chunk of my income comes, so I do prioritize that. And then um, on the bottom I put uh, my other projects. So currently I'm working with a company from Singapore. I'm doing um, creative work for them as creative director, where I'm coming up with the concept of their new brand identity and also concept for the website. And then on the very bottom, um, this is this comes last. It's really annoying that I don't prioritize, you know, my own company, let's say, or my own brand. It's just uh, being a mentor to fashion stylists. This year, it evolved into a whole creative studio mentorship kind of thing, and so you know, I just have. Uh, a few tasks that I should do, but you know, I do as, as much as I can because I'm not a hustler. Um, I was writing about this just the other day on my um, Instagram. So I'm the kind of person who, you know, I can hustle for a week or two. I can work 12, 12 13, 14 hour um, per day. But after that, like, I just feel my physical and mental health really deteriorate and you know I like my immune system drops like I just start to like really struggle that's so loud um so yeah I'm just I just I'm not I need my rest time I need you know 
I just need to chill like I, I can <laughs> I can work eight hours every day no problem but more than that just it's not it's not my thing and my goal anyway is that you know I try to work as much as possible now I'm saving up money and then eventually I hope I have enough income streams and enough of passive income that if I you know I think four hours per day um, that would be the goal of like how much I want to work or at least you know have a three day work week <laughs> or like yeah, I mean, I just don't enjoy working that much. I just, I have so many hobbies and so many interests that I cannot do now and I haven't done because I just don't... What the hell was that? Did I just burp while talking? Oh my God, so sorry about that. Um, <laughs> I have so many interests and so many things I want to do with my life that work is just not my priority. Um, so hopefully uh, one day, I hope that day comes soon, I can just enjoy my life, travel, DJ, I want to sew my own clothes and I don't know, like just, yeah, play drums, uh, there's so many things I want to do and yeah, just don't have time and energy to do them now, so I'm gonna manifest that. But again, let's go back to my work schedule and all that kind of stuff. So it's the week before Christmas. I honestly thought that coming home I'm gonna have a week off or even like two weeks off between the holidays but somehow this always kind of happens that during the holidays I have the most work because a lot of the content that I create for the magazines um, they have deadlines just before or just after the holidays when they go to print and because I work simultaneously on like three print magazines and one online um, portal, portal, <laughs> online media, it just it just happens almost every time, every holidays. That yeah, they just like um, they're just all at the same time. So I'm finishing a lot of these projects right now. Then a super important thing that keeps me kind of grounded in check and just gets me ready for the work week and every work day is my morning routine. So I would wake up around or just before 9am, yes, super late, I'm not a morning person and ever since I was going to high school. I wanted to have a profession where I'm gonna be able to sleep as long as possible because in high school I had to wake up at 6 a.m. to go to school and I hated it. So I literally manifested a profession where I can wake up anytime I want. Um, of course, the sooner, um, the earlier you start working, the earlier you can finish for the day. But yeah, for me, it's just super important that I can have that rest in the morning, wake up whenever I want and just start the day like really slowly. So first of all, I would usually make myself some warm lemonade and then go back to my office or back to bed and just meditate for about like 10 minutes. Um, I use um, YouTube for that, I listen to guided meditations, I think the website is called Great Meditation, let me check that, yeah, true, so they, it's really cool because every day they post um, new meditations uh, and so many times they are aligned with like where I am and what I need in that moment, so it's so perfect. So yeah, I would do my meditation. I would then sometimes even like listen to some affirmations, like just get, you know, start the day really positively and like calmly. Um, it depends on like how much I have to do that day, but sometimes I would take at least 30 minutes, sometimes even an hour. Um, after my meditations and affirmations, I would go and make myself some coffee and then I would just like sip on it super slow and as I said just get ready for the day like super slowly and 
without like stress and try not to think about what I have to do but um, <laughs> it is very hard my mind just wanders all the time to the little to-do list so as I said this week I have a ton of work to do I need to prepare a lot of content for the magazines where I work and I just finished uh, preparing a website concept and strategy for this uh, brand for a client from Singapore that I'm working on and then it's like you know things like um, shoot a video for YouTube <laughs> um, I have another client that I got from Fiverr with whom I've been working for a couple of months I write her Instagram captions for a bridal brand and that's pretty much it mostly is just articles and um, this website strategy that I was working on so I already ticked some um, today is Wednesday actually it's not uh, Monday so I've already done majority of the hard work let's say this is how I structured I try to start with the harder thing the one the the harder projects the harder tasks um, first because I don't know I just want to get it done so that I have more pleasure or time like so I don't, I don't stress that much I don't get that anxiety kind of feeling so that is just how I prefer I know that some people like to start with lighter things first because that then gets them like motivated and stuff but yeah I'm just kind of like the opposite I just want to get it done and then have the more enjoyable tasks, um, the ones where maybe I need to like put more creativity in them. So I have this time where I'm working on the harder tasks also to kind of like brainstorm and just like, yeah, get ideas and get inspired and motivated to do the more creative jobs. And so, yeah, that's just my preferred, uh, preferred system of how I tackle stuff. So today, for instance, I started with two articles um, for a website called N1. Uh, this is a news website and it's from a company that actually um, took over and bought our <coughs> sorry publishing company um, called um, Adria Media Ljubljana, where I've been working for seven years. Um, so these articles are more like um, kind of lifestyle news oriented and I need to prepare 20 of these every month these were the last two for december so i just like i like to batch them out and get them out of the way because it's kind of like not as creative it's just like trying to find very relevant and interesting information about what's going on at the moment i cover a lot of like fashion topics um, design lifestyle things like that so I just batched that out today. Um, now I'm going to go to more creative stuff. And I'm so excited because in the last two days, there was a lot of these like um, not so pleasurable tasks. Um, but today I can finally go on to write some articles for L. So let's go and do that. Oh, yeah. And usually around noon, I would just have like a little breakfast break. Most usually it's just a piece of food. All right. I'm gonna finish this video um, mainly because it's super foggy outside and it's getting so dark in here. I managed to do quite a lot. It's, it's like 2.30, 3 p.m., something like that. And I batched out all the content that was like my least favorite. <laughs> Get that out of the way. So uh, now I'm in the middle of producing content some fashion pages for Story Magazine, which is a, like a, kind of like gossip magazine. I'm the fashion editor, fashion and beauty editor there. Um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail about like what I do for all the jobs, <laughs> all the specifics of what my work consists of. If you would like to know that, um, please comment below and I can make a more detailed video but I think it's just for most viewers it's kind of like boring because it's just me behind a laptop typing away and looking for photos and then just putting it all together in our like interface or how 
how you want to call it, um, online software editor thingy. Um, that's it. My job is just typing away and editing articles, um, looking for information online, answering emails. Um, yeah, it is exciting as fuck. Typically, I work until yeah 4 or 5 p.m. Depends, then I will probably jump on some of the tasks that um, I want to do for my own business. And then I usually end up end the day with watching some YouTube videos. Usually it's something informative. I'm currently super into like uh, personal development, so I listen to a lot of podcasts. And also I watch a lot of travel videos because I'm planning a super cool trip. Uh, just I'm leaving in three weeks, so I'm trying to gather some information and ideas of like where to go. Uh, so yeah, one of the future videos is definitely going to be uh, more about like my digital nomad lifestyle and how I organize my work and life when I'm traveling. Um, and I think this is it for today. If you have any questions about any specific job that I do or more details about how to organize yourself or anything like that, please just leave a comment below and I will try to create a video about that. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I see you next time. Oh, and happy holidays, Merry Christmas and all that kind of stuff. I'm kind of a Grinch, so I'm like, eh. <laughs> All right, bye.